guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out a ton of new makeup. I'm going to be doing this look for you guys using those products and I'm going to be testing them out, letting you guys know how they perform and at the end of the video I'll give you guys my overall thoughts on how everything worked out. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and which products I'm using, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I went ahead and did my foundation off camera. I used my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade Bronze Beige. I figured since I wasn't going to be testing out any foundation today that I could just do it off camera to get it over with. And now we're going to go ahead and jump into concealer. This is a Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflage Concealer. I've heard great things about this concealer that it has really good coverage. This is in the shade 30 Light Medium and this does come in a squeezy tube packaging so for me personally I feel like that's kind of a downfall just because I prefer a dofa applicator that's just kind of like what I'm used to and what I'm comfortable with so I'm applying about that much on the under eye I'm not sure how thick it's going to be on the under eyes right now it doesn't feel thick at all but we shall see once we start blending and to set the under eye I'll be using the matte shade and the Emily edit palette so as I'm blending this out, I do see that it is giving really nice coverage, which is really good, and it is blending out rather quickly, honestly, even though it's been sitting on my under eyes for a little bit. And I'm not going to apply any of that onto my lid because today I am going to be testing out a new primer for my eyes, so I'm super excited about that, but as for this concealer, it's actually doing really, really good. And now I'm just going to be setting with that shade Kindness. You could set with any translucent powder, but I've just really been loving this palette, especially for the under eye. It's a very smooth powder. And now I'm going to be going into this powder to set the rest of my face. It's the Essence All About Matte Compact Powder. It's going on rather smooth. It isn't super powdery, which is nice. And I feel like it's actually kind of like finely milled. Even though it's pressed, it doesn't feel like too thick of a powder, which is a good thing. I like my powders to be very smooth. And now I'm going to go ahead and prime the eyes. I'm using this Ulta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer. It says it's in the shade Satin Blush and it's oil-free, fragrance-free, and paraben-free. I'm hoping it's not pink. I did not check that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are not using this. I'm actually going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. I thought it was literally an actual primer. This is not a primer. I feel like this is more of like an eye base. So I will be using this today, but as you guys can see, like that is not a skin tone primer. That's very pink. Looks really, really pretty as like an all over lid shade. So I think that's what I'll use on the eyes. So since that didn't work out as a eye primer, I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and apply that on the eyelid and then blend it out just to conceal the veins on the eyes and so the eyes are ready for eyeshadow and I'm also going to go ahead and set the eyelids so off camera, I quickly went ahead and did my brows. I used my Essence Make Me Brow per usual. So now for the eyes, I did want to do another look using the Emily Edit in the Needs palette. So I'm going to be going into the shade Courage, which is actually the bronzer shade. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe M505 and working this shade right into my crease. So that's what the shade Courage is looking like. I think for this look, I wanna add a little bit of purple because this pot does have a purple and last time I used it, I did not apply any of the purple on my eyes. So I think today I want to have like the purple smoked out a little bit, thinking that's kind of the vibe I wanna go for. And now I'm going to mix the shade Faith and Honesty and I'm going to be applying those directly into my crease. 
just to lightly deepen things up. And now I'm going to be going into the shade Passion. And this is a really pretty purple with flecks of shimmer. I did go ahead and tap off a lot of the product. So my brush has the tiniest bit of product so I don't get a lot of fallout. And I'm just lightly pressing it on the outer corner of the eye. Slowly working it in and slowly blending it out. And by doing this, I'm not even getting the slightest bit of fallout. So I'm working very, very slow with this shade, working it into the outer portion of the eye. I don't have any extra product on my brush. And now I'm going to start blending this into the outer crease. Then taking a clean, fluffy brush to further blend everything out. And for the lid shade, I'm going in with this Ulta Beauty Eye Primer in the shade Satin Blush, which I showed you guys earlier. It's this really pretty pink color, but it's a cream. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto the lid. As you guys can see, that is very foiled and pretty and sparkly. And it's quite easy to apply, so I'm just going to apply that on the inner portion of the lid. Wow, I'm actually surprised at how pretty that looks. Wow. And it blended so well, too. And I mean, it's not like overly metallic or anything, but I mean, that's a really pretty lid color. I'm really liking that. And once that is on, I'm gonna go in with a smaller, more precise brush to blend out the crease and make sure there isn't really any harsh lines with that cream shadow that we used. And now for the lower lash line, I wanna keep it very simple. So I'm just going to mix the shade Honesty, Faith, and Hope and blend that out on the lower lash line. And that's all I'm really going to be doing. I wanted to keep it nice and simple and I didn't want it to be too dark and smoky. And for the brow bone highlight, I'm going to be going into the shade Gratitude right here. Such a beautiful shade. You could also use this shade to top the shadow or if you don't have that Ulta primer, you could use this shade on the lid and it would look so beautiful. I'm also going to use this as my inner corner highlight. And now that we're done with the face, I'm gonna move on to the skin. I'm using the shade Courage to bronze up my skin. I did not have a new bronzer to test out. If you guys have any recommendations, definitely leave them down in the comments on any new products that you guys have been loving. And for blush, I'm super excited because I'm finally dipping into this Laura Geller blush in the shade Tropic Hues. This blush looks so, so beautiful. It's part of the Baked Blush and Brighten from Laura Geller. And I have one of these in Grapefruit and I absolutely love it. So I'm sure I will love this one as well. It just gives your cheeks the perfect amount of color and it has like a light sheen and oh, these are just so beautiful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bake. I'm going to be using my Eco Tool sponge and I'm just dipping into this essence powder. Hopefully this powder is good for baking too. <laughs> so while that is baking, I'm going to go ahead and apply highlighter. This is the Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. I'm super excited to try this out. This is a tiny little mini. And oh my goodness, is that a glow. This looks so, so beautiful. You guys already know my obsession with 
Becca, but this shade, for some reason, I just never gravitated towards it. And I need the full size, like, ASAP because this is just such a beautiful highlighter. So now that my skin is looking very glowy, it's time for lips. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. And this is one of the newer colors that I recently picked up. It's like a really pretty nudie pink. And to fill in my lips, I'm going in with this Maybelline lipstick in the shade 050 Baddest Beige. This is such a beautiful nude. I've been dying to try it out. So this is the final look. I absolutely love how everything turned out. I love every single item I use, especially the new items. Like my skin looks so flawless with that concealer, with that powder, like it looks airbrushed. This concealer makes my under eyes look so good. It gives the right amount of coverage without it feeling cakey and I can honestly say that concealer is going to be one of my go-to's. The only problem was like the packaging but I can honestly look past that because the coverage it gave was amazing and the powder as well. For less than five dollars I think this powder is so good even though it's pressed it feels so finely milled on the skin and makes you look so smooth and almost like airbrushed so I love that this powder may give you flashbacks so that might be a downfall but honestly I don't really care that much about that I never take pictures and flash photography so it's not that big of a deal to me um the blush the highlight beautiful glowy Everything I look for in a product is in those two. I love Laura Geller blushes and of course I love Becca highlighters. So those two I already knew I was going to love. And this lip combo, that NYX lip liner with that Maybelline Baddest Beige Lipstick. Oh, my newest favorite combo. I think this lipstick is so comfortable. It is not a matte. It's very creamy and I love it. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. It's an all year round color, but like this nude is like my favorite kind of nude in like undertone. Absolutely love it. And as for the eyes, these two I love. I'm going to start off with the palette. This palette, if you have not gotten your hands on it, will be the best $15 that you will ever spend. The face portion of this palette blends like a dream. You can use these as eyeshadows or as face powders as they are intended. The shadows blend so easily and creamy and just look spectacular on the eyes. I think this is a great palette to have. It definitely is like the needs that you absolutely need in your everyday collection. I feel like the name suits it very well. I know this was not a first impression or my first time testing this palette but I just really wanted to do another look with it to show you guys how versatile this palette really is. And if you do not have this ultimate a primer which I absolutely love like this was my first time using it and it was amazing but if you do not have this and kind of want a similar look as to what I went for apply the shade gratitude all over the lid and that'll give you a very similar look without having to go in and purchase this so I'm honestly blown away and I love the look I created it's very simple and Maybe not every day, but it was a very easy look, but all the products like blew me away and are amazing. So I highly suggest all the items that I used and I'm super excited. I found some new favorites. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any video suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.